Hey everyone, this is Alex, USA Days, uh, and let's talk about team composition. So we're in module 13, and um, essentially when you start working the field, there there's a different vast of ways how the thing might be organized, uh, different types of agile, different mixes of different approaches. So, But most likely you're going to see two major things like you might get into a team which would be small and flexible or you might get into a corporate structure right so let's talk about it so you have some understanding where you might end up um, and how do you fit in the process right in the dynamic field of software development QA engineers often find themselves working within two predominant frameworks agile characterized by its fast paced and flexible small team structures and more traditional corporate approach, which is process oriented and typically features larger, more rigid teams. So in the agile team, you will most likely going to have a product owner. A product owner will set the direction and priorities for product development. You, If you work in Scrum, you will have a Scrum master and this will be a person that facilitates the team agile process and address uh, impediments. You will have a QA engineer or two embedded within that or agile team, uh, ensures the product meets quality standards through testing. You'll have software developers uh, that code and implement the software features, so both back-end and front-end developers. You'll have DevOps engineers that will manage the infrastructure, CICD pipelines, support deployments, and have uh, technical support that will provide customer support and feedback to the team for improvements. Uh, so you can kind of look at agile structure sort of like this diagram here at the very top we have business we have product with them we can have scrum uh, and with them we can have business analysts right so their main goal is to deliver business logic work on requirements uh, for the future requests uh, work with customers so kind of get the direction where we're going okay after that, you will have back-end and front-end developers, so engineers that will work on building that, right? So they have to build features, they'll have to do updates. Uh, if the bugs found, fix the issues. Then you will have a QA. It's all within one team that's working on a specific project, right? That QA engineer uh, will be most likely hands-on, so working with the stories, participating in meetings, uh, kind of getting... Uh, features in the place where they're testable and everyone understands how they've been verified. You might also have like automation or software developers in test within the QA that will work more on creating automation scenarios, maintaining that, reporting, uh, making sure that the reports are automatic if something fails, when the new build is added and so on. So focusing on verification, uh, test scenarios, test documentation, automation. And then you'll have all that support around it for that project, whatever that might be. So you can have sales, you will have uh, design, you might have marketing, whatever is needed, right? There's a lot of different projects possible uh, on ed Agile framework, different products, whatever fits, whatever is needed for that product, okay? And then kind of alongside of it, uh, you will have DevOps. DevOps can be global, not just within one project. DevOps, same DevOps can kind of be on multiple projects. Uh, so they can oversee the whole structure. You can see it here. And they go through like different environments, uh, supporting it, uh, including like production. With that can be on multiple different uh, parts of the product in different projects or kind of overseeing everything. But on production side, you can have like apps team or customer support team or technical support. So essentially they work directly with issues that customers report, um, whatever part of application that might be, uh, that might be in your project or not in your project, right? Uh, and then those things will be related back to you where you verify that they're real or not, can they be reproduced in the test environment? Um, and you will can oversee the fix, the developers do fix it, you'll verify that the fix is successful, nothing else gets broken and so on. So this is in general, the agile team. So it's a small team, you are within the project, there could be multiple agile teams, multiple different projects. Uh, but QA is integrated. 
So QA is working day to day with product owners, with business, with developers. There's a lot of communication happening. So you're kind of part of that team, right? Now, the second uh, like major thing that can happen if you're going to work for kind of corporate setup, right? And it's going to be a little bit different. So in corporate team structure, uh, which often follows like a traditional or waterfall approach, the setup is more hierarchical and uh, departmentalized. Here's an example of what that might look, right? So you will have business at the top, so project manager that will oversee project timelines and deliverables. Then you'll have like business analysts that gather requirements to build system and analyze uh, what are probably standards have to be followed and so on. Then you have a development department that will build a software based on specification, like a whole dev department talking with a development manager, development director, and so on. And after that, you'll have a whole QA department that it's not embedded with any other departments. It's its own thing that works on completed product that comes from the developers to you, where you go and uh, test the software for bugs and uh, compliances. There might be a lot of standards or procedural things that you have to do. Uh, maybe you are in regulated field. Maybe you work for a department or of defense or airspace, whatever. So there's a lot of things and normally you'll have testing cycles that can last for a while so the the new uh updated version of a product is being released right from from the development goes to the qa and you'll have maybe a month a uh, couple of weeks to kind of go through everything make sure the compliance is still there and nothing got broken plus verify the new stuff so it's it going to be a very long or a longer normally longer testing cycles comparing uh with the agile because agile you test with the team, you're embedded with the team. It's kind of ongoing process. Uh, for QA department, the process is uh, time-framed and understood, and uh, most likely it's well-documented how it should be done, what kind of steps should be implemented, what kind of things going to be verified, how it's going, right? So within the QA department, you'll have a QA manager, QA managers, and then if you have like multiple departments or within the department, like multiple QA teams that are managed, you might also have like, QA director that oversees everything, right? Uh, then you get your infrastructure team, DevOps, also its own separate team that manages servers, hardware, deployment processes. Uh, you might have a technical support, so that will provide post-launch support and troubleshooting. Uh, you'll have a security or cybersecurity team that will focus on cybersecurity uh, and regulatory compliance that deals with security. Uh, and you might have something that works with users to train them. So like user training team uh, or sales or some other specialists that are also part of the whole kind of infrastructure that will train stuff and customers on new systems, right? So in summary, um, QA and Agile is about teamwork, flexibility and quick changes, fitting well with Agile fast and adaptable style, right? On the other hand, QA in corporate settings is, is organized and follows a set of orders and involves a lot of record keeping. So documentation is a very high priority. Lining up with uh, a traditional step-by-step -step way of managing projects. Now, if you ask me was, which one is better, uh, my answer would be it depends. Uh, it depends what you like because not only the way how the things are going to be done will be different, the products will be different. So um, for me, it boils down to if you like the product, if you feel that you're contributing to something important, right? Uh, that's the first thing. And the second thing, if you're making an impact. And uh, the third one, if uh, the culture is good. So if people are friendly, if you're friendly, if you feel well working with the team culture, uh, some people enjoy more kind of hectic, chaotic kind of a way of doing things uh, that would be agile uh, other people enjoy a more kind of rigorous step-by-step well-defined approach to testing things <clears throat> one is not better than the other in terms um you know this is definitely a good approach and this is not no it's more about what fits better for that particular uh, product for that particular project uh, some things have to be very well tested. Some things have to have long test cycles. So if imagine you work for airspace industry and you know they're building planes, uh, there are a lot of regulations to abide. There are a lot of things that have to be very well checked before the product can hit the shelf, right? Um, 
and then if you work on an app that creates some I don't know entertainment for pets whatever that might be um, there's not a lot of you know lives at stake so yes fixes can be fast or things can be updated quickly so let's say you work for TikTok right um, things could kind of change on, on the fly and you know you try to adapt to the market so something trendy something new comes out TikTok tries to incorporate it like new filters new capabilities of the app payment systems whatever that might be um so again what you like more you kind of have to figure out for yourself uh i did work in both types of environments so what i say just go go out there and try it try which one you like most okay uh personally i enjoyed working in startup uh kind of agile and in more organized corporate um you know for me it's more about the product making impact and having great uh, culture so you know being uh kind of respected at work and having good uh, teammates around me okay all right so this is alex you say days thanks for watching and bye bye